when we work on jaws actually uh, we need a uh, uh, we need to start our system Alert, really information system. creative cloud is and uh, after rebooting our system we will get 40 minutes uh, for jaws to work on uh, you will not face this issue when you will be having license but yes if you are working on trial version definitely you need to restart your machine and then you will get the session i mean which is a 40 40 minute session to work on all right so this is the limitation which we have okay but if you talk about the full version uh, or licensed version, you will not have any limitation there. All right. So uh, before we go with uh, this demonstration with the JAWS, what we'll do notification from Kaspersky Internet Security using Google Chrome, Chrome activate the Kaspersky user, protection extension. We need to do uh, before uh, you know uh, running our JAWS. So first thing, we have to make sure that the num lock on your keyboard is off. So that's the prerequisites when we are talking about the job. Alert information creative. All right. So your um, num lock should be off. Sorry, Bada, just one question. Um, did we just start right now, or are we, we starting just, from the middle? See, we started uh, before as well because, but the problem was like you know because uh, I didn't restart my machine and the jaws was not was not allowing me to you know uh, work on actually on that. So. I reboot my machine and then I can access and I can go with you know 40 minutes actually with JAWS. So I got oh. 40 minutes on JAWS, yes. All right. So okay, so where we are. So num lock should be off on your machine when you are working on JAWS or any screen reader, I would say. Another thing, uh, when we talk about the JAWS, uh, it's written that you know it's more feasible with a eye, but it's not like that. It depends on company to company. Uh, yeah, as per the document and everything, this is more compatible with I, but you can test uh, your application on different browser as well. So that's not a hard and fast rule that you know you have to only use I for JAWS. The thing is that let's say you are working on any browser, let's say you are working on NVDA with Chrome or you are working on JAWS with some other browser, okay? And if the issue is reproducing in both the cases, then you will lock the issue. It's not like only if you are finding issue on one browser and you are writing, I mean, you are logging the issue. It's not like that. So always try to reproduce your issue with the different browser with different combination. All right. So num lock should be off. Your browser, you can open your eye browser. That's the primary browser, I would say. Whenever you work on any browser, you should be maximizing your browser menus. Size. All right, it should not be minimized actually. So it should be maximized. Okay, and uh, so yeah, these are the things which you have to keep in mind. Another thing, sometimes you will see that you know that whenever you are reading something on the page, your page is not scrolling. So that's not an issue. Okay, because the person who will be gonna use this JAWS or any sim reader, that person is a blind. Whether the page is scroll or do not scroll, right? That doesn't matter for that person. I mean, definitely it will scroll, right? But sometime you will, you you might can see, you know that you know it's not risk. I mean, scrolling actually. So in this case, that's not an issue. All right. So here, what we're gonna do? Whenever we will be using our any sim reader. JAWS, NVDA or any sim reader, we will be using our keyboard because mouse will not work here. Okay, so we'll be using our keyboard to navigate on the page and we'll see the things on the page. So let me open uh, any website here. Oh, press tab to search enter. And whatever question you have will Google be dash Google Chrome last. search region and search edit combo to set, set the value system. use the arrow keys right. or type so the value. Let me go to any website. Uh, so let's see. Day semi semicolon Walmart. Walmart enter. Walmart-Google search, heading level 3, link Walmart.com, vertical bar, save money, live bet, Walmart.com, vertical bar, save. All right, so this is the Walmart application which we have here. And uh, here, we'll go with the browser mode. 
so as i say browser mode is like you know we are going we will go uh, line by line on the page okay so first of all we'll see some uh, commands which we have in jaws and we'll see like whether we are able to jump on the page with respect to whatever the commands we are using actually there so let me come here so that's the skip the main we'll content same to main content here now what we're gonna do here is we'll be using a insert and f down button here so let me see that okay so if i press insert and down arrow button together same page link skip the main content heading level one walmart.com dash save money live better main menu navigation region link pickup and delivery visited link walmart.com main menu navigation region end menu button collapsed visited link walmart home page home page stop here so let me open my paint here i will write all the commands ah, and e. paint app enter Untitled dash paint so using brush say, tool on when I say I N A S plus D O double N space R R E double D O R space R D space D U T O N space read all the things space. from the beginning or or I would say not the beginning actually where your focus is it will start reading from that point actually so let's say uh I would say a was a uh, space or it will read all so, r e d d a d space l so let's say if i walmart.com vertical box walmart.com search wall perform your account here, button to activate and i just want to read from here everything actually whatever we have below actually so what i have to do i have to just use a uh, insert and down arrow your account button link my items link cart contains zero items new free shipping with no order minimum restrictions apply learn more graphic new free shipping with no order min restrictions apply link learn more main region list of five items link uh, refresh refresh so this is the one command but again uh when i say this is the command we have this command but now we don't use this command very frequently I, actually we don't use it at all i would say so because see we are here for testing the page and if we start uh, doing all these things like you no know, if we press insert and down arrow button it will start reading all the things for me will not help me at all uh, a lot, i mean at all actually so for this uh, we will have this command but we will not use for testing purpose apart from this we have page up and page down so using a page up and page down you can uh, Increase and list of five main reach link learn more new free shipping with no order min restrictions apply page up page up walmart.com vertical bar page down link w plus free shipping star now so you can get free next dash day and two dash day down. shipping with no what minimum you order you can increase and decrease the vo uh, voice rate whatever the you know uh, when it will read the contains right whenever we'll read that uh, elements web elements which we have on the page we can increase the voice rate if you use a page up and page down which is very simple actually suppose now let's say you are here and you start navigating on the Skip page the header wall menu button collapsed to activate press enter right? so what you have to do there's a way walmart home page link control button so control Untitled button dash page to move and enter, enter. c t r l Space, space, S -E -O -P, space, R -A -D -I -F -F -G, enter, enter. So control will help you to stop reading. I mean, like, see, uh, it will happen like, you know, as soon as you will start your jaws, it will start reading the things and we will be annoyed actually. So it's very annoying thing. So what you have to do, you have to just press control button on your keyboard and it will stop reading the things for you. All right. Let's say if you are here, let me just expand this. All right. Walmart.com vertical bar save search region search so category here, all departments button and you want to hear again the same thing actually right so let me see search Walmart.com edit type in text so what you have to do you have to use a uh, insert in up arrow button search Walmart.com edit if you really uh, if you want to read again the same thing search Walmart.com edit so you can say instead of insert down arrow button which will read everything for you you have to use insert up arrow button which will read uh, the current line where, where you are actually so let's say perform search button your account button to active 
if you are at a town and you want to listen this thing again or you want to hear this thing again so what you have to do you have to just use insert and up your account button it will read the same your thing. account button okay so untitled dash paint to move to an item press the arrow key untitled i n s insert plus and now say up arrow a a u p a r r w space dash space c u r e s e space l i e enter now let's say you want to go with a uh, previous and next word so walmart.com vertical you bar save money live better dash google so you have to use insert account my items cart contain so word by word actually zero items so when you press insert every time you have to use insert here so you have to press insert and you have to use left and right arrow to go word by word actually so if i is my left arrow zero contains cart items my account your search perform com period walmart search departments like that so or up it will read the current line or down it will read whole thing for you if you press insert and you use left and right it will go word by word actually all right so untitled dash paint untitled i n s Plus space. L E F T R I G T S A R R P W P P P O D S P A D D B U T T O N. Enter. So if you use this one, it will go. Space space W O R D space. It will be word by word. D W S P A D W O R F F D. Enter. Right now. Let's say you want to go to vertical. a previous line, not word actually. So what you do, you don't have to press insert in this case. You have to use just up arrow and down arrow. Visited link wall menu button main menu navigation region and menu but visited link search cat search Walmart search. Perform your account link my item link cart contains zero this items. Is, this is what you will use actually for testing. So uh, you will use up and down arrow button to just go to page go to each and every elements on the page all right and see what it's announcing so here sometime you'll use tape button but the other thing which i just explained like you no know, insert down arrow button or uh, insert uh, up arrow button or insert left and right arrow button will not work here at sometime you will use this insert uh, left and right arrow to to read the previous and next word but may, most of the time you will be using a up arrow and down arrow button without using insert button all right so you will go line by line if you press this so it will ask switching untitled untitled p slash d o d n space r o d space b u t t o n space that space p R I O R space L I N E slash N E X T space L I N E. Right. Enter. And then let's say if you want to. Walmart.com. Sometimes happens actually. What happens like you know when uh, we can see the screen right and we know where we are actually. But what about the person who is blind? If suppose if I press here. Perform search button to activate your my cart new. Learn and main now, region list with five items I up to forty percent off. Actually, I don't know where my focus is on where uh, I am on the page actually. So here, what you have to do, you have uh, one option which is like you can refresh your page, and as soon as you will refresh your page, your focus will go to on the top actually, on the first element on the page. So what you have to do, you have to, you can just do a uh, F five. F five. So it will refresh your page, and if I just start taping again, Walmart.com header on the top. Walmart.com. So this is the one. Page has five regions for at Walmart. When they are not sure where they are actually on the page, so what basically they do, like you know, they just refresh their page and they you know start everything over again. All right. So this is the one thing they use. They use F5. Also, they can do a shift F5 as well. So. Shift F5. It will also refresh your page. So F5 and Shift F5 will refresh your page, and 
Sometimes they use Walmart.com. Uh, this is the first element on the page. Alt D. Alt D. Address and search bar edit. So Alt D will help you to just go to address bar. Okay. So this thing you have to know actually. So when suppose you are not using your mouse and you have to completely use your keyboard, then how you can go to address bar, how you can refresh your page, what thing they will do when they are not sure about where they are actually on the page. All right. So this is the way through which they can go to uh, uh, on the top actually and they can start thing over again. All right. So I'll. So it will. Untitled dash page. The A L T plus D space dash space A D D R E E S S E S space D A R space. Enter. Go to address bar. T O space O T O space. Walmart.com vertical bar save money live better. Now, what they do actually? So as I said, uh, know that our navigation or you know where everything which we have interactive elements on the page are in order or not. So what basically we do? We just is start tabbing on the page. So let's say someone says like, okay, I have to check that you know uh, I'm having a proper uh, tabbing order on this page or not. So what I have to do? Skip the main I'm content, same page, header, re Walmart, page. menu, button, Walmart, search, 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 your my cart, new, learn more, properly. main, shop, list, right. refresh, double, up to, conquer, codes, and flu, slide, and activate. So this is whatever things I'm telling you. That's the navigation, how we can navigate on the page. But whatever things it's announcing, that we have to listen carefully. Whether that things is announcing properly or not, actually. So let's say the blind people will come here. Your my iCart new learn more link. Learn more link, which is not clear to me actually. So for that you have to raise the issue. But here we are learning how we can navigate on the page. That's more important because see, if you cannot use your any screen reader, you cannot use your keyboard to navigate on the page. You will not able to find the issue. So first of all we need to understand how we can navigate on the page. Okay, what things they will use. If suppose they are lost on the page, they are not sure where they are actually. Uh, they will go to address bar. They will start over again. If they are not sure, they can also use a uh, alt tab, uh, alt D, where they will go to you know address bar and they will start from there again. So this is how they do. They cannot use mouse. They cannot see the screen. This is the only thing they have actually. So this is the very this is a very simple page actually. Let's say now if you are reading some newspaper. Uh, and then newspaper, you will see there are so many things will come in. Let me open that. So it's tab space U R K K R U R K space T I New York time enter google.com slash search Q equals new plus York plus. See, so this is the page where we have so many links available. If suppose you are here and you are not sure that now where you are actually. So what is the basic? The New York the Times like, dash breaking you know, news, US news, world again, news and videos dash Google Chrome main. Re so that's the base idea. Or, or you can do, uh, you can praise. Uh, the New York Mark Times dash game. breaking news, and US news, go, world like sign. You talk, if you talk about JAWS. Sign a dash Google account, same page link. Sign a dash Google account, same right. page link. So. When you are on uh, JAWS, what, what you can do, you can press R, which is for landmark, and you can, if you know the location actually, if you know the thing where uh, you, what are the things you want to read, you know it's uh, on bottom, you know it's in complementary landmark, you know it's in banner. If you know, you can directly use R, and you can directly jump from landmark to landmark. But if you are not sure, and you want to read everything. Because see, newspaper change, I mean the heading and everything, the news will change every day, right? You are not sure where uh, that news will come, right? Where, uh, where, on which place that news will appear, right? So, for that, you have to go with uh, your up arrow and down arrow button and you have to start reading everything on that page. And if you are not sure where you are, you have to start over again. This is the thing which we do. So, let's see. And you know, like, you know, okay. Uh, if you know some headings like you know here the page is like you know it's changing every day I know but there will be few headings will be here which will not change okay so if suppose opinion will every time you know you will see the opinion here 
or if you are sure like you know something is always will be there so you can use your shortcut key let's say H you can use so if you press H your Monday you evening listen to a past got a cut Georgia of apostrophe Gabriel's G dot O dot P what we know analysis analysis Trump's dollar not stocks of Britain read that pharmacist new variant detected and virus where cases so are here what did I, what they did actually here whatever things they they are having here they are having uh, most of the things uh, they are most of the time they are using a uh, heading here but suppose if they are using headings for some cases and you know that your news which you want to read will come under that heading you can press h h h you can directly go to that place actually where you want to go all right so this is the same with same as in landmark i mean same as in the nvda nvda as well we use h and here in jaws as well we use h for head, uh, heading on the page so let's say if you want to go to any specific heading uh, you can press h h h you will jump, jump directly heading to heading all right so this is the one let's say if you are if you want to jump on a uh, landmark site index navigation heading level 3 heading left heading left heading level 3 living living re navigation region wrapping to top sections navigation button main region transcript play video button site index navi heading level 3 news news region so now you directly uh, in the bottom so if you press r so Untitled like dash paint to move to an item. D D R E S S D A R space. Enter. What you have to use for what? H dash space. H A D I N G. Enter. If you press R dash space for A N D A R K. Enter. If you press F, F it will be space, again same space. as uh, NVDA. You no, know, whatever things we have under a form, we have to use F, and it will go for form actually. F. R O O R O R M S right. Enter. And if you press T, T which is similar space, to that space, it will for A B E. All right. So let's try this actually, and there will Enter. be one more which we'll be trying here. N so we'll be trying N space N dash space no N P P O N space L I N K space E X E. All right. So this is that, and uh, let's the New York Times here. dash break. So if you are here uh, on the top, I will Address use my search bar. keyboard only. I will press tape. Main region. Gabriel Sterling. Close button to activate. Press enter. Come. Let me just come over here. All right. So address main region. Ga address and search enter. Main region. Gabriel Sterling. A top election of. And I would say again here. News the uh, New York Times news is not at all accessible. Every day they change their contents and it's not accessible. The New York at all. Times dash the. If they will take care of, I mean, if they will take care of their accessibility thing, they will not able to do all this thing. Actually, it's very difficult for them to you know have every day new contents on the page. So it's very non accessible actually here. Main region closed can banner search. Skip this list with five international Canada link. So here, if you are here, and uh, I mean, so my my you know purpose to uh, I mean, I'm, what I'm saying is here is like you know if you compare this Walmart and New York Times, this will be more accessible than this one actually, because here the content are changing every day. All right. So if you are here on Canada, if you press H, your Monday evening briefing you know, heading, it will directly jump to heading. Now, if I press R, it will directly jump to landmark on the page. All right. If you press A here, close button, play button, play video button. So don't worry about it because of flash. They have used some flash here. So, and that's not installed on my machine. So it's not showing here. But when you press A, it will go to all the form control. So let's see. Seek left, right, show transcript, turn HD mute button, adjust volume, enter full screen, play video, quote a Let's see here actually. Some Walmart.com vertical bar save. Uh, skip the main content, same page menu button collapse. Search category all the search Walmart.com perform search button your account button place light animation button. So whatever you will be Jaws dialogue form, OK button to act that Walmart.com vertical bar save header region your account button here. leaving Let's menus Walmart.com vertical bar save money live better dash Google Chrome header region your account button to activate press enter close button so if 
I use this one. Select an element in the page to inspect the toggle. Walmart.com vertical bar save money. Live better. Search page Tom. Elements, navigation, region, scroll left button to activate, press enter. So it's a global search form. So what I mean here is whatever the contents you will be having under a form, you will navigate to that control actually, that elements. So when you will press F, it will go to all the form control. Now if you want to press table, let's Close try. button to let's activate. Table here. Walmart duck. There are no tables on this page. So there are no table. If there is a table there, you will navigate on the table as well if you press t there so let's try that as well so the new york time one, yeah. address a c e s i e s a b a e space enter google.com slash search q equals accessible plus table and r l z equals one space access e x a m l e space double c enter so accessible table anything? main region https colon slash all right so let me see if we have anything here or not okay let me open this one tables concepts bullet table so page i know has not tables. i have a table which is this table right if i come here address and search place. bar edit banner region w3c link graphic now what i'll gonna do here i will press t jump on the Table with three columns and four rows. Column one, row one, date. See, we are on a table now. And uh, here, uh, if I want to navigate, I can use, first of all, let me go out of this actually. Main region, article now region, again, share. Place my T again. Table with three columns and four rows. Column one, row one, date. All right. So it's saying everything that you know how many columns we have, how many rows we have here. So the menu, context menu to navigate press. If I leaving menus, tables with one, leaving menus, tables with one header, bullet tables, bullet Y web accessibility tutorials. And if I just go to that place where we have a table. Virtual font, A, B, E, escape. We'll search here, I just want to search here. Virtual find, JAWS find, escape, tables with one header, bullet tables, bullet Y web accessibility tutorials, dash group, tables with one header, bullet, page DOM, document, select an elements panel, tab so panel, elements, the table which we have level here. 8, less table greater, right. open, under this table three. we have a table header, so what is the he header we have here, we have header, uh, date, event and event new, these are the headers which we have, table header. Level 0, if you, page. This, if you come here, you have test data, which is uh, this one, 12 Feb. And this is the test data, and this is the test data which we have here. All right. If you open this one, it will give you another uh, here. So one more thing here. There's an issue again we have here. So the issue is like when you come to this table, it's not telling the purpose of the table actually. It's reading that three columns and four rows which is not useful at all for me actually so basically whenever i'll navigate to this table it should give me some meaningful information that Jaws I dialog this okay table, button to activate table, press space bar okay so because of that we should be using a caption for each table uh, we have only two minutes left for this jaws station actually so it will be, i mean it will start i mean uh, my system will be reboot and it will not work actually so we will cover this thing uh, tomorrow as well. But for me here is saying like, you know, whenever we are using a uh, T, always we should be having a caption for tables. Okay, just like for frame, we should be having title. For page, we should be having title. Here for table, we should be having a caption. If caption is there, we will come to know that why, why we are using this table here. tables with one header bullet tables right. bullet y web accessibility so tutorials why. dash and google chrome select that, an element of the page to inspect the table close see table with three columns and four rows column one row one date it's not i mean there's no use uh, for me actually here so here we should be having some meaningful thing actually meaningful caption there associated with this table so if that will be there yeah it will help us to you know understand like you know why we are using this table actually here 
so yeah it will start i mean it will reboot my system actually and uh, it will you know uh, you will not able to say, will not able to say anything so the thing is that we will continue this we will again uh, restart my machine uh, and we'll continue this uh, session tomorrow and where will be uh, i mean we will be covering few more uh, i mean shorter keys which we have in jaws but meanwhile you can write down your all the questions so tomorrow what we're going to do we will be discussing all the questions you are having with respect to this jaws and yeah we we move ahead you know with some other topic all right so just write down all the questions for jaws and uh, yeah my system Okay. So yeah, here my now jaws is not working. I think so. Let's just stop. All right. Yeah, Anita, do you have any question? I mean, like, didn't start. I mean, it didn't reboot my system. So just tell me. We cannot use now my jaws actually. It stopped. I don't exactly have any questions at the moment, but um, the table, yes, this does seem very interesting. I, uh, if we can go over some more examples, maybe in the future, would that be possible? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. I mean, see, I know I cannot show you on JAWS, but let me show you what things we need as you know when we are talking about the accessibility. So if I just come here, let me open something. Uh, table with caption actually. So let me open anything for you here. Um, all right, so it's not there. Let me open something here. All right, the same right which we have here. See, we want when we talk about the table. Actually, we want something this caption actually. So let me something. Uh, what we need here availability let me open something else here All right so here we have given the caption which is and that's shelly daughter actually so let me just quit open this so here when you design when you work on any table you always have to check all these things so let's suppose you are having table under that tab table you, you will be having the caption this caption work as a title for me for the table all right and then you have a, you are you will be having a table row and in table row whenever you are using header so if that is the column header you have you have to use call for all this so let's say if i come here so this the column header this is the column header for me all three right so what i'm doing here is i'm saying table header is scope column for call actually we use call for column so this is the column headers which we have and this is how we can make our you know table accessible if you are talking about row so row also we are having as a row header here so these are the row header so this j key belong all this data both belong to all this data so this is also a row header for me so if i just come here and if you see table row and table header which is scope and this is belong to row and this is the row header for me so and then we are having the data under that okay so it's like jackie five this is the header for me and this is the data for me actually so five fifth and april fifth is the data for me here we have another header row header so which is a bit and again we have data under that so whenever you are checking anything uh, whenever you are checking anything and if you are not finding this caption it will not give you idea why we are using this table what is the purpose of the table so let's try and hit here so let me see let me turn on my nvd i think that will work here. because jaws for jaws we have Name. to start Welcome. the machine okay okay but web aim all right so if i press t main landmark shelley's row t right. so web aim shelley's daughter's table with four rows and four columns shelley's daughter's caption no next table all right let me go to shelley's daughter's table with three rows and three columns shelley's daughter's caption it's saying shelley's daughter 
So let me do one thing. Let me inspect Menu it. Web aim. Creating accessible tables data. Yeah. Cap. I will just remove this one. Menu sub menu. Cop. Delete. All right. Document. Save. Net slash H2. Less caption greater Shelley's daughters less blank. All right. So now we don't level have seven less goals. caption greater identity web aim creating access Shelley's daughters table with four rows table with three rows and three columns row one name column one name. This is good or before caption. I mean after caption we were good actually. So what do you think so here? We should be using caption or we should not be using caption here. Anika? So, sorry, can you say that again? I'm saying, are we good without caption or we should be using caption there? Oh, actually, that's what I was about to ask. So, is it always supposed to read with caption or can it not? Um... We, we should be having caption. How would I know the purpose of always, this? Always, okay. Right? If I, if now, if my screen reader will read it, Birthday. let me just, okay, just one minute. Task view, just, just NVDA, no, right? so notification. Notify over NVD NVDA can help tool tools speech NVD NVDA speech it's viewer it's reading. Okay. Identify web aim creating Shelley's daughter's table table with three rows and three columns row one same table with three row and three columns row one column uh, name column and one name it's saying like that. Okay. So this is only just telling me the row and column count here. But if I press again T here, Shelly's daughter's table with four. It's saying Shelly's daughter table with four row and four column. So which one is the good actually for me? The last one because see here we have given the caption and it's reading a caption for me. So it's not like you know here we have given Shelly daughter, but we can give some meaningful thing there actually. Okay, whatever the purpose we have for that table actually we can give that thing there. Just like we give in title right for each title we give. Just like home or check out or contact us, all this, right? When we give all these things mm -hmm. on title, it will read out for me. Same mm -hmm. thing for caption, we use, I mean, for table, we use caption actually. If caption, a caption is there, it will read that thing for you. If it is not there, it will not read it. It will just simply okay. say three row, four row, something like that. Okay. So the caption always has to be there. And if it's That's not, then it counts as a defect. So caption should be there. You should be having a, Column header, you should be, if suppose you are having a row header, so you should be having a row header as well. Okay. So, so if you e are having C -O -L. column, we have to assign scope, we have to give scope, scope. you have to mention the C -O -L. column, C -O -L. column to me. If suppose you have a row headers, you have to specify that row header as well there. All right. Okay, so screen reader has to read the column, C -O -L. the row, the caption, everything, right? Yes, so let's say name. if I just navigate on, navigate on this. No next table. All right, so let me just try here. Table with three rows and three columns. Row one name, column one name. Let me try to navigate. On. Age column two age. Birthday column three birthday. Edge of table. Birthday. So what what, what is reading? It's reading age column two age. It's saying birthday column three birthday. Why it's saying column? Because see we specify there. We mention that birthday is a column. Okay. Let's say, let me read again something. Jackie Row 2, April 5th. Again, Jackie Row, and then? Edge of table, April 5th. So for April, it's not saying anything, row and column. See? Age column 2, 5. Column, for column, definitely it will say column. Beth Row 3, 8. See, for Beth Row, let me try. Birthday it. column 3, January 14th. Edge of table, January 14th. It say age of table January 14th because see for 5th April, 5th April, 5th, 8th and April, January we just having there as a we are using that as a table, table data. We are not using any heading for that actually. We are not using that column heading for them. We are not using row heading for them actually. So that's not a header actually. So here Identify when we are specifying anything, table head Jackie one, name. Birthday, this Jack. One, you Beth, have to specify Beth. row header. And column. Okay. So whenever you will inspect Beth. it, you will see menu sub. Everything now we have given. Web aim, creating accessible tables data.
we have given scope, slash the scope. If suppose that's the row header, equals. we have given row. If it is a column scope. header, we have given as a column, I mean, a scope call, which is for column. All right. So that thing we have to remember actually. Okay. So yes, uh, apart from this, there will be a few more here. NVDA speech meeting on un untitled paint. For table we saw for form it will you you have to just press f f f it will go to all the form control if you press t you, it will go to table whatever i mean i mean like let, let's say if you are having two table if you press one time it will go to first table if you press second time it will go to second table and then suppose if you press n it will go to non link text actually which is not text and suppose you want to jump B button to button space it, space you have to use button. U of n so b4 buttons actually so whatever the buttons you are using on that page if suppose you want to jump uh button to button it will go all the buttons actually yes if you press b b b there same thing we saw there for l list. so if you space press l, space it will go to equals list. space so suppose if you are using a list here let's say web aim web aim creating That's accessible it. tables data tape web aim complementary landmark list with two items content info landmark list so this l the shortcut key we have we are having same in jaws as well so if you press l l l it will it will go to all the list uh, one by one uh, on the page and yeah and then if you press i it will go to list item so suppose in one list you have four items so it will go to all the items there so let's say Bullet WCA, Bullet Anniversaries, Bullet Wave Webinar, and Bullet Web A Million One Year Update. So these are the, so the first one is the list, and un, under that list, we, whatever the items which we have, it will go to that item. Okay, so this uh, shorter key will be same on JAWS as well as on a NVDA. Alright, so, I mean, see, uh, in starting, what I said is like, you know, uh, when you perform testing, you will not see all these things. You will not use a list uh, for L. You will not use I for item and all that. You have to simply just go uh, line by line, which you have to use uh, up arrow and down arrow, and you have to navigate on the page, okay? And you will see what things announcing, how, I mean, uh, whatever things you are uh, have on the page, it's announcing properly or not. And let's say if you want to, just check some landmark on the page you have to use r on jaws okay so that thing you have to see but suppose if you are lost somewhere on the page and you are not sure where you are then you have to use that's the alt d to go to address bar and if you if you know if you also want to check uh, if you want to refresh your page you can just use a5 and you can refresh your page as well and as soon as you will refresh your page it will go on the top and uh, yeah Again, you have to start from from the top, actually, yes. So that you have to do. Okay. And the same command which we untitled saw Untitled paint window. For list. F -F I for I items. Def. I M A A. And if you suppose for heading, already we saw here. So if you press Using, you, after H, if left, you press space, one, left two, six, one any number, dash, it will six, go to all the space, labels, which we have. Right, because space. We have a one, one space we are dash h six. six okay so if you press one it will go to all the heading level one 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 if you press two it will go to all the leading heading level two 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 there all right so these things we will i mean this is how we will navigate on the page all right so this you think you have to check you have to start navigating on the page actually so if suppose you are using NVDA or JAWS or if you don't have, install it on your machine. Uh, for JAWS, it will take 40 minutes. I mean, it will give you 40 minutes if you, 40 minute session actually, if you are having only trial version. And uh, yeah, so do that actually on your machine, install it on your machine and start navigating on the page. Okay. Here, whatever I'll, the- Using thing, text yeah, tool on Canvas. Our land, I'll, we have seen I'll, here, using text it's good to know but mostly we'll be using up and down arrow button to navigate on the page that we call as a uh, linear navigation or i can say uh, reading navigation actually just like we are reading the newspaper we are going line by line actually whether it's interactive or non-interactive 
All right. Any other question? All right. So yeah. Uh, so other there are few more things which we have to just show you on uh, NVDA. So uh, on JAWS actually. So what I'll gonna do? I will uh, tomorrow. I will before we have a class actually. I will restart my machine. I will turn on. But it will be expire in 40 minutes. So uh, you have to come online yeah on time otherwise you will not you will not able to see the you know things actually on jaws so yeah tomorrow yeah same time we'll be meeting again uh, at seven o'clock i will restart my machine before our session and yeah we'll look into jaws there are a few more things which we have to see and after that we'll be looking into some other tools which respect to uh, android and ios uh, if you talk about the android it will be talkback if you talk about the ios uh, it will be a uh, uh, voiceover. So we'll look into that. There are few more tools. Uh, we have internal tools available on NVDA uh, on uh, Android. So it's like, you know, Accessibility, uh, Accessibility uh, Inspector. And also we have, uh, there is, there's one more tool we have uh, in Android. So we'll look into all this uh, tomorrow. Not tomorrow actually. So tomorrow we'll look into that JAWS first of all. And once it's done, yeah, we will, I will uh, attach my Android device and I'll show you how we can navigate on the Android as well and how we can find the issue. All right. So yeah, if suppose if you want to ask me any question tomorrow, you can write down all their questions. Yeah, we can meet tomorrow and we can discuss. Yes. Wait, you said tomorrow or Thursday? Oh yeah, yeah Thursday actually, yes. Sorry for that. Okay. It's on Thursday, yes. All right. So you can write down, meanwhile, you can write down all the questions, whatever doubts you have, and yeah, we'll look into that, yes. All right? Just just one uh, small question that's like, uh, once a uh, blind people uh, use plus up arrow current pays and using the screen reader jaws, mm -hmm. that uh, the pays be started like uh, from anywhere of the pays, like or the, from the beginning. So, if you are talking about the blind people, definitely they will start from the beginning. Okay. Because see, they cannot see the screen, right? Uh, for that, for them, actually, it's like you know they have to start from the beginning, uh, and then they will navigate on the page. If if they know, like you no, know, let's say if using they know, web aim uh, center for twenty twenty one. If they know that you know I have to only just read the content under this, then they will just use H H H and they will come here, or they will use R for JAWS actually to just to go to that reason where they are having that uh, heading and they will start reading that. But if the suppose, if the pay, I mean, uh, if you talk about uh, New York Times, it's I would not say like, no, uh, they will use R or H because see the things or news will be keep changing every day. But if the page is, is still and it's not changing every day and they know that where their content is, they will just use a shorter key, which is R or H, and they will just go and they will start reading that. But for every new page, they will use uh, linear navigation and they will go to each and everything on the page. All right. Okay, thank you.